Welcome to the how to use the toolbar control. We have here an empty Visual Web GUI project. It's a uh, VB project. And we'll start by adding a new toolbar to the uh, form. Okay. And let's go ahead and add buttons. Let's add one button. We'll add a uh, save button. I'm going to have the tool tip saying save and we're going to use the uh, icons format it will be icons.save.gif the formatting of the uh, image name can be found within the uh, documentation in short in shortly it, it means that uh, we're going to the icons directory and we are looking for the save gif now also add a tag to this button so we can use it in the uh, click and let's go ahead and attach to the um, button click event of the uh, toolbar and here I'm going to say message box dot show and I've got the uh, button dot tag and Let's go ahead and add the uh, resources directory. So we have the uh, save icon, resources, and we need the uh, icons directory. The mapping to the uh, icons directory can be found within the uh, web config. You see in this section we have the icons directory, which is mapped to a relative path, which is resources icons, exactly where I created the uh, icons directory. Now let's go ahead and get the uh, save icon and now we should have a uh, working almost working application this is my C sharp programming and we have a uh, have a working application with a uh, toolbar and a button save and pressing the button will raise the uh, message box and you can also go ahead and use the uh, uh, image list control for uh, larger buttons so let's go ahead and do that let's go to the uh, design time and go to the uh, let's go to the uh, button buttons collection and let's remove the uh, definition of the uh, image let's do okay and let's go ahead and add to the uh, form an uh, image list where is the image list image list here it is now currently the image list is not supported in design time so I'll go ahead to the uh, the form that's attached to the uh, form load event. Here it is, and I'm going to add an image to the uh, image list. It should be image here it is dot images dot add and the image will be a new icons resource handle it should be under gizmox.webgui.common.resources.icon resource handle and I'm going to give it the uh, save dot gif and should close the, uh, the method now I can go ahead and have the uh, toolbar button I have the uh, toolbar button 1 and I'm going to say no, excuse me have the toolbar and the toolbar image list will be equal to image list this I can do in the design time so let's go ahead and do it in design time I'm going to do the uh, toolbar and I'm going to select the uh, image list here it is. Now I've assigned the image list to the toolbar. 
let's go back to the code and now I can easily go and say toolbar button one dot image index equals one or zero without the semicolons and now we should have the uh, toolbar working now we have a uh, working toolbar I can also uh, go ahead and change the uh, image size let's say we'll go ahead and say image size equals new size system dot drawing dot size and it will be let's say 32 on 32 let's see now the uh, toolbar which is supposed to be bigger okay and we have the image stressed to uh, 32 on 32 we can also remove the uh, handles which are stretched stretched by doing toolbar not the toolbar button toolbar dot show it's uh, menu handle equals false and toolbar one dot drag handle equals false okay so now we should have a uh, working toolbar and here it is that's how you use the toolbar control that's all for this tutorial thank you for watching